so for me parenting is not just to be married to a person and have children and that's it i am a parent and now i am done with it okay uh, I, this topic is important and i will be talking about conscious parenting and everybody might think uh we know what is conscious parenting don't tell us what to do okay and uh, for me co- parenting conscious parenting is respect do you agree with that <clears throat> respect so what do i mean by respect respect means that as a parent i have to respect myself as an individual then i have to have a very respectful and um, mutual and um, compatible relationship with my spouse and then i feel that we can have a good relationship with our children because if there is an issue in the relationship with the people who are parents then i feel that there will be an issue with the relationship with the children respect begins and trust is one of the major things between the spouses the husband and wife that before you become a parent is do you know yourself so that is what i want you to also talk about do you know yourself this is my question this is very important for everybody to address do we know ourselves in order for us to understand life why we want somebody in our life what should they those be? who are joining me now i'm talking about conscious parenting and our relationship and why do i do it and it is not i was saying about parents and about children that you get married and have children and feed them and then you think you are good parents and you're done with the du- duty if your parents did that don't blame them they are done they tried their best to do what they could do uh i am not here to negate any way of the parents that they, uh, uh, from our previous generation or uh those who are from my generation or now that uh, they are wrong i am just here to say that get conscious get aware of yourselves and pay attention to the parenting habits and behaviors that we don't like in our parents that we don't like in our cultures or societies that other parents do or other adults do you don't have to be um while well, i am sure i will get a uh, question here that you don't have to be a parent to be to know what is parenting uh, i am saying from the point that when you are adults you know what is right and wrong right of course when you have children then you know what to do and it's your own something else comes out of you when you are a parent yourself right so the point is not to negate anybody put anybody down uh, and i don't want to put any cultures down any of the cultures that i belong to um i was born in saudi arabia so i am not here to degrade the culture here i love saudi arabia i was born there i belong to saudi arabia as well but as much as my roots are from pakistan and i was born i mean uh, both places have given me a lot and then i have lived most of my life in the west which is United States of America and I have uh, received so much from here. I so the point is not to put any culture down but I think we I feel privileged that I can pick and choose from all these cultures the best out of the best um traditions and inculcate that in my life and that's what I did, try to do with my boys. Um so i think that uh, too much uh, is uh, blamed on the parents uh, instead of blaming them whatever you don't like in them so i want you to take this today take away from today's talk is first one thing is how much do you know about yourselves 
what do you know about yourselves what have you learned so far depending on your age i would say doesn't matter what age you are just start learning about who you are things that you didn't like from your parents or things they did to you that you didn't like don't do it work on that it's very easy for me to say but it takes effort it takes practice so don't give up i think um i don't think i believe that you can do that i did it you can do it as well so practice things that you don't want to do that's where the conscious living and conscious parenting comes that you have to pay attention to yourselves that this is not very appealing i shouldn't do that i used to not like it and you can even start so okay so i will say talk to your children please have some nice communication don't say oh, i'm not used to it you know because your parents didn't talk to you or communicated so much that doesn't mean that you don't have to do it now you have a choice if you instead of complaining and blaming i would say take the responsibility and change things change your patterns change your habits and prove it to yourself that you can change so once you change your children will change because this is the way you will break the a negative pattern or any negative habit or anything that you didn't like uh will be changed for the next generation so you have a big responsibility especially when once you realize that this is not right then make it right so now you know what is not right so you better find out what is right right <laughs> so i believe that you can change uh yourself and everything else takes care of it once our uh, once we uh, we can only change to be honest that is what i have learned i am much older than the people who are um interacting with me at this moment um i believe that that is the only way to change people around us situations take control of yourself take control of your life and uh, and that doesn't mean that you don't include your family and you discard them but and also one more thing i want you to take this today as well practice patience i think it really goes long way and if you lose it quickly then it is your fault not anybody else's fault you react it's 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 my fault if i react it's my responsibility to control my reactions um if i get angry that's me if i say somebody else my children made me angry mm -mm, not right how am i reacting to whatever they are triggering or doing so we need to work on our triggers um so i would say that uh, work on yourself and then and that doesn't mean that you become insecure or you are become less confident but you make sure that you are doing the right things and things will follow and and also i'll talk about uh, there's so much to talk about this topic and i have so much to say about it but today i will just talk about this that learn about yourself be patient change your patterns break habits that are not serving you right and your family but please if you get married first find out why you getting married what do you want to achieve what is the goal what is the motive why, you, why do you want to get married what is the goal what is the motivation um how do you plan to live are you both on the same page or similar page you cannot be same you will uh, you have to be different that's the beauty of life so but if the foundational basic things are common it will be less struggling there will be less struggle for you to live with each other and then to decide for children definitely how do you both should be the value system your beliefs your cultural traditional uh, faith based especially if they are similar and close to one another then life becomes much easier and for children also because what you do is actually put children through a lot of turmoil a lot of con conflict and a lot of perplexed uh, uh, they become indecisive most of their life 
So make decisions thoughtfully, but then stick to it. So trust yourselves. So everybody, thank you for watching and listening to Light Up Bishwa podcast. I was live today and I hope you have um, found some value in our uh, conversation today. Yes. Thank you so much. Have a very good day, rest of the day or evening, wherever you are. Have a good night, good morning, good afternoon.